Hello and welcome to another how-to video. My name is Dave Davis, CTO DBS, and today on this lovely, lovely cold morning, we're going to show you a quick overview of the new five-line 12 megapixel bullet that we've just released. So typical five-line bullet, so uh, really good construction. You've got the SD card slot there and the reset button, um, plus all your QR codes and that. You've got your freeway bracket, so the uh, tilt, turn, adjust there uh, by one screw. And we've got, if we take this apart, which I already have, you've got the three parts of this. So you've got your base plate, which screws to the wall or wherever you're fitting it. That goes on there, three secure screws on there, and then that on top of there, and then you adjust the camera accordingly. Now on the back of the camera, I don't know if you can see this that well, but you've got your PUE input there, and all your 12 volt input. You've also got your two inputs and two outputs and two grounds. Uh, so this has got two inputs, two outputs. We don't currently have audio in or out on this model, but um, that's gonna go through a customization and have that. And also the newer models we're bringing in also has the 12 volt output to power a microphone or a PIR that would go next to it. So uh, that's the follow. This is just one of the ones we bought in before. Customization. It's also got a nice feature if I take a, a well placed Cat5 cable there and plug that in. You can see it's actually got retainer clips on there. So you can, you know, actually put the cable into the clips however you want. So when you put that into there, all your cables are nicely addressed and clipped in. That is it. So follow me. I'm going to go and check this up outside now on the gantry and then we'll web browse into it and show you the lovely, lovely image quality that you come to love and expect. Okay, the uh, camera's now fitted on the gantry. As you can see, it's actually fitted up there. Looking at the gate. That's my gantry with all my other cameras. You can see it's actually not very light out here at the minute. We'll go inside now and uh, go on the web browser. Okay, hey, welcome back. Now I'm inside in the warm. We fitted the camera, we're web browsed into it. It's quarter seven in the morning. You can see uh, the camera image is quite nice considering it isn't fully light outside yet. Um, so I'm very, very pleased with it. It's a nice wide image, a 12 megapixel. Um, we can actually take this and zoom it in further. So let's just zoom this in. And it'll auto focus there, so you take the light out of it and it starts to stabilize. So 2.8 to 12 mil, very focal. And go all the way back. Get a nice wide angle. And let it auto focus. We've got the normal things like digital zoom. So if we take the digital zoom and say draw, what we will do is. Uh, come back to it when there's more vehicles in there, but you zoomed in there so you get the enhanced detail, say even a you know, digital zoom in there, still very good detail, we'll come off of there. And then you've got all of the other functionality you'd expect from a five line product. So you go into the configuration, there's the model numbers, the 5AC5 12 megapixel bullet camera, latest firmware, you've got all of the same system service, so you can turn the IR light on and off. You've got all the security functions. You've got your network functions, along with the height connect if you want it. And the smooth streaming is a new function. Uh, smooth streaming uh, has been added to quite a lot of products now. The smooth streaming will allow you to uh, view it nicely on, the, say, a height connect account. If you haven't got much bandwidth, it automatically adjusts it to give you the smooth streaming protocol. Now there is, if you enable it, it does say when smooth streaming is enabled, functions such as variable bitrate, MJPEG, and SVC are not supported. Um, we don't need that. We've got very, very good upload here. But if you've got poor upload, enable smooth streaming. Just don't have the other things enabled, like I said. So we go into the video and audio. So we set it to 12 megapixel, but you can adjust it. I wouldn't have thought having a 12 megapixel and adjusting it down would be much fun, but you can do that. We support the maximum of 20 frames per second when it's set to 12 megapixel. It's still very, very high. We've got H265 on, but you can put the plus on if you want, and the maximum bitrate 8192 at that. Then you've got your image settings. So you've got all the normal stuff you can adjust in the image settings. 
You've also got the counting option. Now, this is just object counting. It's not accurate like the people counter, the dual lens people counter. It is just object counting, but we can enable that. We can draw a line, say, across the gateway. There, so if anyone comes into the gateway, uh, set it to zero, move the OSD up there. I'm um, going to draw 24 7. Yep, that's fine. I'll save that. Okay, for this function to be enabled, you need to disable the dual VCA. Okay, we've enabled a uh, disabled enabled dual VCA. I save that and now saves. When I go into live view, the OSD will be up in the top right hand corner. So far, I'm on my own here, so uh, feel free to pop in and say hello. Um, what we'll do then. Wait for some more vehicles, more people to come in, and we'll come back to it. Okay, nobody was coming in, so I decided to move my uh, truck uh, to the uh, position that we can do a bit of digital zoom. So, from the position of the camera to where my truck is, is uh, 27 meters. Um, so, what we can do then is enable the digital zoom. We can draw an area around it. And you can clearly see, you know, without much digital zoom, the plate becomes identifiable and then we can uh, do it again you know obviously the further you go in the worse the pixelation will become but it just goes to show you know at 12 megapixel uh, the digital zoom is still really effective um, if we go further again you'll see if it will start to pixelate the further you go in um, but yeah still not bad and then go back to the wide angle shot there so that's the 12 megapixel bullet camera. Hope everyone likes it. Hope you all like the videos. Remember, keep sharing, uh, keep commenting, keep liking. We'll see you next week for the next how-to video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.